change the alternator of this 94 Tegra. Um, then you just here jacking it up, We're taking the wheel off so we can get some leverage on the bottom side. Um, yeah. So the alternator is located in this car right over here. So we bought this the other day and um, it was all good coming down and then as soon as we got home the battery light came on that's the indicator the alternator for charging the battery and that's what's happened so the battery should be charging at about 14 and a half volts and it's currently at 12.4 yeah which is just the battery power itself so the alternator is down there and what's that uh, second hand on facebook yeah, yeah. how much uh, about 70 dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully this fixes it, eh? Yeah, that's it. Ghetto started. Let's get the getaway started, huh? Yeah, Alright guys, now to remove this um, alternator, you're going to need to take off this bolt right here that's holding on your power steering pipe. There's also another bolt down here. Right? It's holding all your main lines for your alternator running down to the back. Right, and then you're also going to want to take off this 10mm bolt here that's holding these wires and plugs in together so when we unplug that we get more room to get inside pull the alternator out also going to want to unplug the battery because you are working with voltage of course just in case you know you end up doing a short burning another fuse or anything like that and you also get a better access point from taking it out from the side here the fuse. Always gotta make sure you put the bonnet up jap style. Yeah. Fuck that standard shit. Alright guys, so you need a 10mm of course. Just take off these three bolts down here and the power cord running to the alternator. Just down here. You're also gonna need a 12mm. Now that is for the top bolt holding the alternate alternator on. That is located. Once I get this off, I'll show you guys properly. Um, and then you've also got a 14mm underneath here, if you have a look. Just near where the belt is, on the top floor. As you can see there, just on the bottom there, there's a 14mm holding it on. We'll give you guys a better view once we take it off and everything like that. Yeah. First things first, disconnect the battery. Yeah, don't want to caught no, don't want to caught no sparks and shit. Exactly, cause a possible fire or anything yeah. like that. Now we do want to take the battery off completely. First thing, I'm just going to cover up this positive point just so it doesn't touch the battery too much. Yeah, so guys, you've got to remove this wire here. This runs back to your battery from the alternator to basically recharge it. So it's just a 10mm on top. And then there's also a green plug under there, if you can see it. Just there on the back of the alternator, you need a plug as well. Just an FYI, if you guys are getting stuck or anything like that, like what the fuck's going on. Um, that's pretty much it to take this alternator off. Uh, just got the lower bolt left to take off, and that should be it, guys. Slide straight off. Alright, guys, so that is the lower bolt that is required to be removed. So that's basically where the um, lower mounting point is for your alternator. So that's a 14mm, and it's just to push it, push the bolt through as you're wiggling it out. So once you loosen that also, the belt will also be slightly loosened. So you'll be able to pull it off, keep it in the same spot, and just put the new one back on, and that'll be it, guys. That is the alternator out.
free stuff. No, so we just basically take this and then we just make sure we can this yeah. connection a little bit. So what we're doing now guys is basically just cleaning up the connections a little bit. Because we've got them second hand, we just want to make sure everything's clean before we put it in, you know? Yeah. And make sure it works. And also sometimes you've got to check this corrosion on that green cable. That's it. This one here, because there can be a bit of corrosion build up on there. Make sure you clean that off. This is my mechanic signal. Oh, oh. <laughs> so what's what problem are we trying to do with here? So basically we're trying to get all the WD-40 out of the connection and out of my mouth. And out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so get a garage bro, make do. Yeah. Make do. That's the oh, anthem yeah. and the slogan for Southeast Get a Garage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make do with what you got, alright? Should be tough. <laughs> Can we go for the bottle or something? That should be cheaper. Put it here. Put it down there for a second. Put these mother suckers out. Line up this hole. Take a little bit of trial and error, but you should be able to feel it through. Push the bolt all the way through, and then push the nut onto it slowly. Make sure you guys don't cross thread this nut, because if you do, then it's game over for you. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make. They just put it straight on with the ratchet or the gun or whatever. And they assume it's going to be alright. When majority of the time it isn't because it just costs just straight away. Put this belt on. Can be a little bit of a bitch sometimes. Mind my language, sorry. Yeah. Now that's on, I need my 14 mil again. And we just want to nick it up, we don't want to tighten it fully. Right? Because when we do the top one, it will affect the tension of the actual belt. We don't want it too loose, otherwise, it will just basically not make the alternator function and it will defeat the purpose of us actually changing this alternator. Alrighty, back to the top, guys. guys want to make sure that belt's tight but because you don't want it too loose otherwise once again you're gonna alternate it won't work properly cut in and out always just stick it to your um, timing belt to see if it's all good the tension on both there yeah so you want the tension to be similar on both belts. Just like that. Yes, sweet. Alright, now we're going to make sure you put those plugs and everything back in. So the green plug goes into the back of the actual alternator itself. Let me try to find the hole for Right guys, and then you've got a white wire running to the top of it. Try and get this under and around of that green plug. You wanna push this dust cap to the back. You also wanna make sure your wire isn't corroded because if it is, good chance it probably won't work anyway. 
So as you can see here, it's still nice and silver. Still basically looks brand new. And then that goes back on top of your alternator. Under here easiest access point once again just down the side here and you guys want to make sure that is tight otherwise it will rattle loose and you end up losing your bottom bolt your alternator will fall out of place now we'll get the wheel back on and we'll let you know if it starts working or not. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> the wiring loom support back on. So that's this one just here. Yeah. Right. And I've also put the wiring loom for the alternator support back on. Just so it's a lot neater. So we're going to see if the battery light, light goes off in the in the dash and then we're going to check the voltage of the battery. So do you want to go? Alright, moment of truth guys. Now let's just make sure it's getting proper voltage, it's not overcharging the battery, because that is another issue also. Yeah, so it should be charging the clean. Should be charging between 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts, yeah? Perfect, that is mint. And with that, we conclude this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And we hope to see you next time, all right? Peace out, Southeast Ghetto. Let's do it. See ya.